Welcome back to Veertech Gaming. If you've not heard already, we have some exciting news. We've teamed up with Tip for Serve to allow you to completely monetize your own game server. You can sell items, resources, kits, roles. This one is really exciting. Allowing your players to head over to your Tip for Serve store, make a purchase, and redeem it in a Discord for that fully automized service. Today, we're going to cover items and kit setup, so let's get started. If you didn't check out the last video, we went through how to connect your game server to the Tip for Serve account, completely automate VIP subscriptions, and how players can redeem their items following their purchases. Be sure to check that out if you need. I'll leave a link in the description below. So, to get started, we need to get ourselves to the Tip for Serve store editor and again click the Create Product or Subscription button, this blue one right here. Now, I'm going to not only be selling an AK, but it'll also come with 500 VT coins for my Discord economy. Also, there will be an announcement on screen thanking the player for their support. To do this, we need to give it a title. Mine will be AK plus meds plus 500 VT coins, and I'm going to be selling it for $2.50. Description here, I'm just going to write AK rifle with free 500 VT coins for use in the Discord economy. I'm also going to make it a featured item. This will show it as featured on my storefront. And finally, I'm going to allow quantity choice. Now. This is where things can get a little tricky, as not only will this be using Veer Tech placeholders, but we will also be throwing in some tip for serve markers. Scroll down to your server selection and select our server. Now, because I want to sell the AK, give some VT coins, and announce it in game, we know we're going to need at least three commands. This is also going to include a stack of meds, actually, and so now we're going to need four commands. So if I click this green plus symbol three times, it gives us a total of four commands. The first one we're going to select, run only if player is online. Now what this does is, it protects players who are not online from claiming items and not receiving the delivery, and the command we are going to use is inventory.give2 player name in quotation marks. As before, keep an eye on the formatting of those quotation marks and any brackets that may be involved. Rifle.ak, which we know is the short name for the AK assault rifle. And finally, our quantity. Now. Normally here we would put a number, however, because we were allowing players to enter a quantity at checkout, in comes tip for serves marker. We need to enter quantity in these brackets. What this does is allow tip for serve to autofill this from the amount we have in our baskets. So that's the first command. Second is our meds. This one is going to be a little different because not only do I want this to be the quantity that the user sets, but I also want them to be in stacks of three per purchase. So to do this, again, we select run only when player is online. The command, we start with inventory.give2, player name in quotation marks, syringe.medical. And for the quantity, again, we're going to use a tip for serve marker, but we need to let it know that we are going to be in bundles of three as mentioned. To do this, we need to enter the quantity asterisk three. Again, check the bracket in the format of the command with the asterisk symbol. So this command will give three meds for every time this gets added to a basket. Meaning if little Johnny brought three bundles, he would receive three AKs and nine meds. Next, we have the VT coins. Now, because this doesn't need a player to be online to receive these, this can be redeemed at any time. So this time we can select run and the command will be vt.give quantity. We're going with 500, but again, we need to use the quantity marker with the multiplication so it will look like this. And finally, the placement, wallet or bank. I'm going to enter this into our bank. And finally, for our announcement. So I think it's important for the player to see our gratitude. We're going to select only run when player is online. The command global.say player name, formatted like this, just supported us with a purchase. To get yours, head over to veertech.tipsforserve.com. And finally, once you're happy everything is where it should be, go ahead and scroll up to submit your product. Now for the kits. It's pretty straightforward as it's only a changing command, but let's cover it anyway so we're all on the same page. Again, we're going to click the create product or subscription. Name it, I'm going to call it Full Metal AK. $5 seems like a pretty good price. Fill in your description, but before we move forward, I want to have a stock count, meaning that when they're gone, they're gone. So I'm going to click here on limits, which is on the right side of the screen, and I'm going to turn on the stock limit marker and set it to 20. This means this is on a first come, first serve basis, and only 20 of these kits will be sold. Head down and select our server and then the command. This time I'm going to take some currency at the same time. 
allowing me to ensure that someone doesn't just join and turn it into a pay to win. They will also need to have some economy currency in Discord to contribute towards their purchase. So again, click the green plus to give us another command line. First command, let's go with only run when player is online. Command for the kit, kit, give to player, kit name. Ours is text, and then player name. Again, keeping an eye on the brackets. Next command is the VT coins. Again, because they don't need to be online for this, we can select run, and this time the command is vt.take. I'm going to charge 500, and it's going to be from the wallet, so we're going to end the command with wallet. Notice how this time we didn't use the quantity marker. This is because we don't enable the quantity selection for the product. Again, once you're happy, scroll up and submit and both products are ready to go. Remember, after players have completed their purchases, they need to head into your Discord using the slash claim command to receive their order. And there you have it. Two super efficient ways to monetize your items and kits with Veertech through tip for serve and also including the Veertech economy system. We'll see you next time where we'll be diving into more exciting features with the Veertech RCE bot and tip for serve. Until then, Happy grubbing.